All right, people, your boy, man, Mike here. I want to give a question to all you guys out there, man. There's been a lot of speculation on what to do with Brian Poole. He has not been playing well for the last couple of years, especially at corner. He's been getting beat by everyone under the fucking sun. Uh, but the question is, is he better suited for cornerback or safety? Um, leave your comments below, man. Let me know what you guys think. Brian Poole, corner or safety? My guess is to move him to safety, all right? I love his ability to tackle. I love his hitting ability. We all seen last <laughs> Sunday, this past Sunday, the hit on uh, Jameis Winston. Uh, he knocked his ass clean the hell out. So I love his hitting ability. I love his ability to, to, uh, to blitz off the corner. He has some ability, but covering – I don't think I want Brian Poole covering anyone. All right, we've seen what he can do, what teams do, do to him. Uh, Jameis Winston picked on him that entire uh, last series. They just continuously went after Brian Poole. We've seen Brian Poole against the Cincinnati game. Guess what? A.J. Green caught the uh, the pass over he and Isaiah Oliver. So coverage is not exactly his thing. So uh, what in the hell should we do with Brian Poole? Corner, safety, corner, safety. There is one thing that I want to point out, and like I said, I want to uh, give a lot of credit to uh, Dan and his uh, guys on the staff with uh, us. You know, we got a uh, Facebook group, uh, Help Dan at un un Unintentional uh, Grounding, do a lot of work and uh, chatting and bouncing ideas off each other. So, Again, check out uh, Dan's channel, Unintentional Grounding. But it goes on to say if we move Brian Poole to safety, that means at least a $2 million bump in pay. Cornerbacks make more than safety. So if that's something Brian Poole would want, do he think he's worth the money? Let me know what you guys think. Your boy, Mad Mike, is out, man. Peace.